How's it going, Internet? I'm Nick Limone, filling in for Sydney Goodman, who is working the red carpet for IGN at tonight's Onward premiere, so check out that live stream. But in today's fix, we've got The Switcher gets cross-save and better graphics, James Gunn chooses a favorite script, and our first look at Venom 2. Let's do this. The Witcher is enjoying a renaissance thanks to the outstanding success of the Netflix series and The Witcher 3 launching on Switch. Now some people poo-pooed The Witcher 3 on Switch, claiming it was an inferior version of the game due to the Switch's limited hardware capabilities, which was not wrong, but no need to be mean about it. But no more! Thanks to an incoming patch to The Witcher 3 on Switch, graphical options akin to the PC release will grace your menu screens. These graphical updates include at least according to the Reddit post, motion bloom, depth of field, and light shafts. So no texture quality or things like that, but some minor improvements that the Switch can handle. But say you want to benefit from how good The Witcher 3 looks on your PC, while also enjoying the portability of playing the game on Switch. Well, thanks to that same patch, the game will also now feature cross-save between the Switch and PC releases of The Witcher 3 on Steam or GOG, which means you play your game on PC, then you want to take your Switch out on the road, transfer your save over, and you continue playing. So I'm just really stoked to see more and more of this. But how do you feel about it? Is cross-save the next big thing? Let us know in the comments. We all know James Gunn is a great director, but did you know he's also a fantastic writer? In a Q&A on Instagram, James Gunn revealed that his current favorite script is, drumroll please, The Suicide Squad. Are you sweet talking me? No, not that Suicide Squad, but THE Suicide Squad. He did also name check Dawn of the Dead, which he has great taste, Super, which I'm also into, and The Specials, which I've never heard of or seen. But all this does is get me hyped for a sorely needed take on The Suicide Squad. What better man to do it than James Gunn? Oddly enough, you know what wasn't mentioned in his list of faves? Guardians of the Galaxy. I wonder why. But what's your favorite James Gunn movie? Over the weekend, Venom star Tom Hardy offered Instagram fans the first look at Woody Harrelson's Cletus Cassidy in Venom 2 with the caption, Hello Cletus. But between now and then, he deleted the photo because he probably wasn't supposed to do that. And after talking to legal, I've been informed that I am also not allowed to show you that photo. So instead, I will give you my best artistic rendition of that photo of Cletus Cassidy. And in case you don't remember what Cletus Cassidy, AKA Carnage, actually looked like, here you go. Hi, Eddie. After seeing the new photo, I remember thinking, wow, how'd they find a better red wig? So that's something. And that was your daily fix for February 18th. I'm Nick Limon, and I'm happy to report that IGN just crossed the 13 million subscriber mark on YouTube. So thanks for that. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to The Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, IGN.com.